somebody asked me what's the difference between the ego and the essence the ego is the adaptation the 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 version of ourselves that we create to cope in a world of rejection pain and suffering okay the ego is that version that you had to become as a child to be accepted to belong to not be cast out to be fed to be even liked we soon very quickly realize that the true version of who we are as a child is problematic you're the naughty child or you talk too much or you do too much or ask too many questions we don't accept this within the tribe that we call our family and so very quickly in order to survive and to remain part of the 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 community because we understand that humans survive in community and they survive and, and belonging therefore is not just an emotional thing i want to belong it's actually a survival protocol because we know that the people that are cast out from the tribe often die so we and so as humans we are designed to to coexist and to live in community so we develop ways of fitting in and that means aborting and abandoning versions of ourselves that actually make it truly unique right in so doing and, and abandoning that part of ourselves, we get to a stage in our lives where we create a world we do not love, a world that is that burns us out. We start to invite relationships into our lives that support the ego, right? So if we developed a people-pleasing mechanism when we were children, what we're going to do is grow up and make that our personality, okay? So your ego becomes your personality, the way you navigate in this world. When your ego becomes your personality, then you start to create relationships based on your personality. So we invite people into our lives. Women, if we're men dating, we invite women into our lives that we have to please. If we're women dating, then we invite men into our lives that we have to please because this is the only way we know how to be. This is the only way that we know how to survive. As a result, the ego cannot actually produce true and lasting love. It cannot produce connection. What the ego can produce is what we call attachment. Okay, so you're either anxiously attached or avoidantly attached or, you know, healthily attached if you have managed to, to mark master the power of true connection but for me to connect with you i have to show up as me right i have to show up as authentically me and you have to show up as authentically you and then we have to be the authentic selves and then there needs to be a little contract between us and the contract needs to be i accept you and you accept me you accept my authentic self and i accept your authentic self when that contract is had then what we have is a connection, okay? And that connection allows for authentic attraction, whether it's uh, platonic or whether it is um, a romantic. If we can be open to, to authentic connection, it, it means showing up as me, but what if I don't know me? What if I've never met me, okay? What do we do then? Because I can guarantee you that in the years that I have been doing this work on the thousands and thousands of people, the secret source of what I really do is introduce people to themselves and make them understand that the self that they abandoned is actually a beautiful person. And that self has a contribution to the world and to a relationship that has never been seen because the reason we don't connect to the true self is because it is we are afraid that we, we may not like that version of ourselves because that version of ourselves was never acceptable in the home and the upbringing that we had. And so we're afraid to meet who we are. There's a Latin phrase, if you've watched The Matrix, says, know thyself. And the Oracle is speaking to Neo and say, know yourself. Because if you know yourself, Neo is going to create an identity switch. And that identity switch is going to open you up to your superpower. Okay, so Neil was like, am I the one? And the Oracle was like, I can't tell you if you're the one, but I can tell you that if you know thyself, there's going to be an identity switch and that identity switch is going to create an outcome. And this is what we do here at the Black Storm Relationship Academy. This is why I created the Soulmate Attraction System course that I'm talking about and we'll talk about till the day that I die. Because the Soulmate Attraction System course is... I know people attracted to it because they want to attract their soulmate, but the soulmate that we you attract to yourself is yourself. Because that truest version of you will always 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 without a shadow of a doubt attract the most authentic partner ever it will always attract authentic genuine love to be known for who you are to be heard to be seen to be understood that is love okay love is not the butterflies in our stomach love is that presencing of i know you i accept you i am you are known to me I, I understand you, I see you, I hear you, I accept you. That is love. And when that happens, 
in reverse and 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 your partner says i see you i hear you i know you i understand you and when i've seen it all i choose you i accept you that's what we call being in love <laughs> okay because this is now happening from both sides we're now in love because we have truly seen the problem is that a lot of relationships are based on the ego where there's no true seeing what a lot of us see is the versions that we are peddling and then when the moment comes where we have been chosen for the fake version for the egoic version of ourselves the building comes tumbling down because this person is like i did not choose except to know this version of you and you're like but i want you to love me anyway but you sold the wrong version of you okay so what i want to do here at the black soul nation academy is to bring you to your authentic self to bring you to your divine version Ver version of you where you're truly authentic because then that's who that person is choosing that is not an easy road to take i'm going to give you a tip which is what this life is about that you can take away and begin to work on well you're going to have two options but one is going to be self-help because i know not all of you can afford or have the time willingness or uh, in the position right now where you want to work with a coach so i'm going to give you if you stay till the end <laughs> i'm going to give you the 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 number one tip that i went live on today that is going to help you begin to your to start your journey to find your authentic self because there's another thing about your authentic self your authentic self is magical